what they should choose a cs or it or ai i think 5 to 6 is the average like most of the students get 5 to 6 otherwise the highest has been can you tell us no because, no that won't be possible <laughs> so what are you pursuing i'm pursuing btech engineering csv in which college i'm at wpo okay and where are you from rajasthan rajasthan so yeah. why did you choose maharashtra then pune then mit yeah basically i wanted to pursue engineering and like at that time covid was going on so basically we didn't have much options there and then. so yeah, yeah like i firstly i chose actually nursing monji but then i shifted to mit because like it was more safer because my friends were coming and then my above, like family members also used to leave there so yeah okay so do you think it was a good decision yeah it is a good decision okay by far uh, how was your college like uh, it was like most of the time it was good the faculty is also like supportive and all and the functions also are nice and you have a like good life another than the college life so yeah okay and what is your annual fees uh 3.10 was mine i don't know if it would have increased i guess okay so do you think this is justified uh like if like it it is somewhat because like the faculty is good and like th- there is some leniency also and yeah the studies are good and like placement is also okay, okay so. so what uh, what is the average placement for a csc student i think 5 to 6 is the average like most of the students get 5 to 6 otherwise the highest has been this year i guess 19 or 21 so i think 5 to 6 is the average okay uh, the coming generation who are currently who have just given cet and jwe uh, according to you i think ai is a better option because like now everything would be shifted to ai and ml so yeah even like if you choose core there are subjects for ai and ml so i don't think there would be a much more difference the subjects are almost same for ai ml and csc like in my time so yeah i think uh, csc one. is just like it is the same as computer science right yeah computer science and engineering yeah. okay so what were your subjects and what was uh, your hardest subject Uh, for me, as I was a non-coder from the very start, so DSA was very tough for me. But yeah, if you'll practice, you'll get through it. And the main subjects were DBMS, CN, like database, op- operating system, then computer networks, and these are the all core subjects that I taught. Okay, so did you do any other course? Uh, yeah, like for myself, for my experiences, I did some courses from Coursera and Udemy and everything for my own personal, uh, like for making for betterment of myself, basically. Okay. Uh, faculties like how are your faculties? They are supportive. Like if you are an obedient student, obviously. So I think, and even if you are not, they are supportive. Okay. And uh, extracurricular. Extracurricular are like a lot in MIT. Like uh, you have ride. You have all the like these festivals, fests and all like ride the Narawan and even small small land like there have been traditional day and many more things. So yeah. Okay. How will you define your college life? It was pretty great. Pune is a good city to live in, and uh, the campus is very beautiful. And yeah, so it and it has been like renovated, and we have like new building for CSC and everything. Though I'm passed out, obviously, but yeah, this is my passing year. So yeah, the future like the people will come. It will be a great. Okay. What advice you you wanna give to the students who will be coming this year in MIT? Study DSA. DSA is very important. and uh, for the college life like how they should leave uh, they should take part in extracurricular or not it is how much they should uh, concentrate on studies and how they should keep them away from addictions um addictions is totally their choice it's not like i can say and they'll follow but yeah if you want a good college life just like you just have to like know what a good place is to for live according to yourself you like hostels then stay there if you are not comfortable with hostels look for good flats and everything travel travel is not much convenient if you live far away because you have to come to auto or metro is also there so i think that would be a easy part i also live side by so i don't have any problem regarding that then uh, i don't think then uh, like the life is good and uh, the weather is also pleasant so i don't think there's any issue there. have you ever faced any kind of ragging in this college no never <laughs> what kind of policy your college has for ragging uh, like i have never seen actually and if there would have been then college would have taken any actions but i haven't seen any ragging okay and how much you will rate your college out of 10 like um 7 or 8 okay and where does the college lie actually 
first of all our building was not really good but now they have created a new one so yeah that has mac and everything so the facilities are full and i think the students will enjoy that in the study part like the professors help but you have to study on your own at the end of the day and you have to pass on your own no one can like spoon feed you to like pass so that is the thing otherwise yeah teacher has been supportive <coughs> and to justify the fees what does college provide what what kind of infra they provide regarding classrooms and labs also in labs as i told you the new labs have mac so each and everything is very well structured and the classes are also really good they have smart classes and everything for study and the, yeah basically the infrastructure is good for the new building r was not that good but yeah the new one is really good okay and what kind of efforts your college took for placement uh college actually took a lot of uh, efforts but yeah like it's up, uh, like upon the students if they are really working hard they will get one like in my case like when i was not getting so i used to come to teachers and ask from help and they used to suggest me like okay do this do that and everything and then yeah it was pretty convenient for me at that time so i got it but like if some student is lagging slightly behind then they should can like they should meet the coordinators for the placement and all then I think that would get them sorted or something. Okay, and you have stayed in hostel or flat? First, I was at hostel, which was not very convenient to me. Then I shifted to flat, and that was also like they obviously they had some issues. But yeah, from like last three years or two years, I was staying in the. So flat. the hostel life is better or flat life? Both are the same actually. There is no not much difference. But in like flat, I got more space to roam around. That's it. And there was no intern. No, there was intern there also, and we had a security guard. So that is another scenario, obviously. But yeah. So still, what's the cost of living of MIT student? Like, how much do you uh, spend on accommodation, food, traveling, all these things? Okay. So if you go f- and you go for a rent for the flat, then it would cost around forty to forty-five thousand in between for a two BHK. Mine costed. Thirty-five something. Uh, it was divided obviously in four people, so accordingly that, and then electricity bill also. So which adds up to like a monthly rental and electricity bill accord till like fifteen k maximum. And um, then, uh, then according to the student, it differs if they want to go out and eat every day, or they are taking a mess or something, or they are taking a like different service. That. It totally depends on the student. So twenty five to thirty is some. Thirty k, yeah. Twenty five to thirty k is the max for the living, a good living, I suppose. Okay. What's your next plan? You will go for a masters or you will go for job? Um, as I got the placement, I would be pursuing my placement. Can you please tell us about uh, in which company you got placed or which com- options you had? Uh, How I- was it actually? Mine, mine is Deloitte. So my teachers helped me, and uh, many students got placed, and it is mo- most in Mumbai. So yeah. Can you tell us? No, because, no, that won't be possible. <laughs> okay. Yeah. okay.